Okay, guys. <laughs> I came up with something big. Uh, yesterday, I was given one of the most ultimate life hacks that I've ever received. And I'm going to give it to you now for free 99. It would be Colby Camel Rob Bros Retreat, though. Um, so basically, this is how to win every argument you're ever in. Um, and firstly, you, if you want to try this out, you need to start getting in arguments. So uh, this is how you do it. Just listen to what people say. Don't be a bobblehead drone robot that just sits in conversations. You're not A, not even listening to them, or B, not even paying attention, or C, you're listening to them and disagreeing with them, but you're still like, yeah, yeah. And then you go back and talk about them behind their back and leave them in boredom and disconnect it. I highly recommend to make your connections and your relationships not only based on what you agree on, but especially what you disagree on. You come to a Rob Brown's retreat if you want to experience that, where a bunch of people sit around and celebrate what they disagree on and sharpen each other's swords. Um, <laughs> that was a sort of a biblical reference, not what you're thinking. Um, and just learning from each other. Like, I love disagreeing with people. I personally invite you, when you see me in person, to disagree with me if you disagree with me. And tell me what you think is wrong or what is right. Just don't be that bobblehead. Here's a challenge. Stop bobbing your head. Sit there and actually listen to the words that are coming out of people's mouths. And you'll find out that some people are not even making sense. They're just like babbling. Or they're just talking about stuff that doesn't really matter. So bring some presence to the conversation. Bring some excitement to the conversation. Disagree. Like, no, actually, I don't agree with that. Or if someone says something about, oh, well, the universe let me. And you don't, if, you don't, if you believe in God, not the universe say, well, actually, I, don't, I believe in God. And I don't believe the universe had anything to do with that. Or you can just say, oh, I just think it was by chance, actually. I think it's, everything's random. I'm, maybe the person's an atheist, and you can express how you're an atheist. These are all, you, and it doesn't have to get into big, wrapped up stories about it. I have a guy at the gym that, um, man, when I leave a mess, if I like, leave some chalk on the ground or forget my weights on the ground, he gets angry at me. He's like, I'm not, you're effing mom, I'm not here to clean up after you, so clean that up. And then like three minutes later, He's like, oh, and Daniel can climb the rope faster than anybody. Like, he celebrates me. He, like, gives it. So I get to see both sides of him. Like, he's a human being. We, we, we're angry. We're happy. We're sad. We're mad. We're delightful. We're joyous. Share your emotion in the moment. Act how you feel. Say what you mean. And once you start doing that, some inevitably some argu arguments are going to happen. Now, how to win the argument is actually a perspective. It's a, it's a shift in perspective. You have to go into the argument Ready? Here it is. You have to want to lose it. Your goal, you are the lawyer for the person you're arguing against and you're waiting for them to say something that is right. So if, there's, if, there, if the argument is getting to a place where you're losing your sense of self or you imagine they're losing their sense of self and they're just letting anger take over and they're not thinking clearly anymore, that's cool. But if you want to end the argument and win it, you win it by losing it. You purposely lose your arguments. And I, re I highly recommend you guys trying this, especially with someone that you argue a lot where it doesn't feel like the arguments are adding value to your life. I know this is the video is kind of a little dualistic and paradoxical, but uh, try it. Try this on for size, baby. Uh, like Diana is like, oh, I told Diana this last night. She's like, okay, well, you're a, a fat, stupid a hole. And, and I was like, that was a perfect example because that's extreme, but I tested it with the extreme. And I was like, you know, she was playing around, but fat, I don't think, I, you know, this is how I would handle that. Like, I honestly, you, this is not about manipulating, just take a step back. This is not about manipulating or lying or deceiving. This is actually you really listening to them to try to find out what could be right about what they're saying. So it's not you just blindly agreeing with people. It's you finding the part that could be right. This is part when the argument really heats up. You know, the beginning of the video is about starting the arguments. This is about ending the arguments in a, in a really great way. Winning the arguments by losing them. So, I'm, I, I honestly don't think I'm fat, Diana. I, I, but, the, you know what? You could be right. Because at a raw vegan fruit festival, people would probably look at me and consider me to be puffy and overweight. Stupid, that's another one that I wouldn't like to think that I'm stupid, but I bet if I went to a conference um, with people that were talking about 
quantum mechanics or some realm of physics that I'm not too experience, experienced with that I could be considered stupid by them, depending on how open-minded they are. And then the a-hole, yeah, yeah, no, that, I, I can be an a-hole, and you're right, you are, I am an a-hole sometimes. What do you think Diane is going to say after that? She's going to just feel, like, maybe a little confused, but everyone's going to be complete. And I'm excited. I've just spent so much of my life arguing, trying to prove other people wrong. I want to start proving myself wrong. I mean, this practice goes way deeper, but uh, it's kind of a way to ruin your reputation, maybe get gain control over your ego, let your heart take over your mind. Try to find out where you're wrong. It's a, it's a growth opportunity. If anyone can prove you wrong, that is a time to celebrate, baby. You gotta look for those moments. When I'm in that argument next time where someone's telling me something that really, when that resistance comes up, that's the time when you really gotta step up. You gotta get your best defense attorney out there and you gotta start prosecuting me. I have to start prosecuting myself or my ego or what the part of me that thinks is right. I need to kill that part of me. I need to find what can people prove me wrong about. And I'm excited. I'm excited to take this journey. And I highly encourage you to take this journey. And maybe we'll make a movement out of it like hashtag prove me wrong. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to prove myself wrong. I'm going to prove you right. Who's excited? This, I think this could be a huge hack. And I've never heard anyone tell this. To, let me know. Comment below if you've heard other people talk about this. Uh, maybe this is a teaching from some guru from some realm that I don't know about. But I was excited to receive this information, um, and I'm excited to share it with you, and I'm excited to get your feedback of how it works for you. It's not the easiest thing. It's going to take, you might have to go through some stuff prior to it to realize that you are much more than your image. You're much more than what people think about you. You're even much more than this. And once you realize that, then you can start ruining the parts, start proving the parts of you wrong. I know I'm being a little redundant, but that's my style. And oh, comment below and tell me things that you can prove me wrong so I can agree with you. I can find if there's any truth to what you're saying and agree with you. All right, uh, see all 26 of you amazing people in Traverse City coming up, and then everyone in Costa Rica, October 24th to 28th, and then whatever else we got planned, check it, robdraws.com. Thanks for joining me. Like this video if you like it, but dislike it if you dislike it. Yeah, please do it. Prove me wrong, baby. <laughs>